New Mexico State University and the tech company Cisco are working together to see if holograms in the classroom could be beneficial. And ABC 7's Tyon Marshburn visited the campus and even got to see herself as a hologram. She joins us with that story. I'm here at New Mexico State University, one of the only schools in the country providing feedback to Cisco to improve their hologram technology. We're just testing it for them. It's not in the market. Uh, they want faculty, students to use this technology to see how we can, they can advance it. Academic leaders from New Mexico State University were intrigued when they learned that Cisco was developing hologram technology. They reached out to see if they could assist with testing. Cisco agreed, hey, you know what, we have this uh, rig that we can give to NMS students so we can do beta testing on it. For the hologram to work, both parties need to have the rig set up. They built this hologram rig. These, um, these goggles are third party. So this is a Microsoft product and this is um, an Android product. So Cisco is not in the business of making these holograms. They're in the business of making a platform for people to use the hologram. Without the rig, you can still see 3D models as long as both parties have special goggles. There are only two rigs in the country and one of them is here at New Mexico State University. David Chavez, Senior Multimedia Specialist, allowed me to use the equipment. In this demo, you see me moving the 3D heart and also a glimpse of myself as a hologram. I can see it being on, you know, alert, another learning tool for um, high school, even in college. Do you want to see a dinosaur? I can bring a dinosaur in here. Some of the classes that can benefit from the hologram are geology, criminal justice, and anatomy. They can see how a drug can affect a human behavior. They can see inside of, you know, the anatomy of the body, and they can see how it works. So there's a lot of professors that can really use the technology. Chavez says the program is not ready to go live just yet, but it's going to change the world once it does. Reporting from New Mexico State University with our New Mexico mobile newsroom, Tyon Marshburn, ABC7.